afternoon on this um, very chilly Melbourne evening. It is 5.18, I'm running three minutes late. Today we're going to talk about traditional weddings and making sure that your camera is adjusted right before you start. What I thought I'd talk about today is a traditional weddings and I've had, a, I've had one particular bride, my beautiful Sam, she's uh, she's having very much a traditional wedding and it made me sort of think about how we can take a traditional wedding and put a bit of spunk in it. So hi, I'm Beryl from Forever Yours Flowers. I create wedding planning courses for couples to work through the process of their wedding and their wedding day. I'm a textile artist and I'm a graphic designer. So I'm a visionary. I'm sorry, I can see the big picture. And with my wedding planning courses, you will see the big picture too. Anyway, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about wedding planning and traditional, the, the traditional wedding. Put in the chat, what do you think is a traditional wedding? I was writing down some little hints for myself. Sorry, I had to move my bananas because I wrote up front of my words. Can't have that, can I? Because how am I going to read? Because I can't have the words in my hand because I've got to use my hands. But anyway, I just thought, hey, um, sorry, that light on my glasses is driving me crazy. I'll have to figure out how to get that. That's Tiff's job. Anyway, so what to you does a traditional wedding look like? To me, a traditional wedding is the long white ball gown with a long train, very much Princess Di, with the long, not so much the really long veil, because that was no offence, that was crazy. Sorry, my phone is going to go flat on me. Let's hope it doesn't. But I've got a backup plan to that. We lose the light and I plug it in. But let's see how we go because I forgot to charge my phone. Remember at your wedding, if you're using your iPhone, remember to charge it. So, but to me, I was thinking about what is a traditional wedding? How would I describe a traditional wedding to a couple that walked into my house? And every person that works that walks into my studio, whether they walk into my studio at the moment, they're all walking in online, but that's how we're dealing with things. That's fine. But when they come in, we talk about what they think is traditional versus what I, because I need to get into their little brain and pull out what they think is important because it's got nothing to do with me. I don't. It doesn't matter what I think a traditional wedding is. It matters what they think a traditional wedding. If they think they're going to have a traditional wedding on a beach, that's fine. That's their idea. To me, it's not. So I'm going to kind of, I've given myself a few notes down here so i do apologize i'm going to keep walking i think to me a traditional wedding is heritage and culture intertwined yes it's cold i've got my gloves on i'll take them off they're a bit gawky do, um, do, for hello they're bit, is that better okay so they're fused together we take culture and a lot of cultures have very traditional weddings um the Indians have a very traditional way of weddings. The Jewish have a very traditional weddings where they stomp on at the wedding, they stomp on the glass. There are words that you call that, but at the moment I'm not sure that. I'm, I think they say muzzle top as they stomp on the glass. That is tradition. But have you ever thought of putting a bit of tradition with a bit of spunk? I'm going to give you some ideas later in. Put in the chat what you think could be traditional and spunk. Love to hear from you. But anyway... The other thing is to me with a traditional wedding that's very extravagant, exaggerate, over the top, bigger than Ben-Hur, as they would say. And they're kind of the things that I think of with an, a traditional wedding. That's the kind of things I sort of respond to. I expect everything's going to be bells and whistles and really, really huge. Large guest list. I'm assuming it's 200, 300 plus guest list type thing. It doesn't have to be this way, but this is what my brain, this is what my brain thinks of as a traditional wedding. Very much like the Greek and the Egyptian weddings are very big weddings because they invite everybody. I went to a Greek and Egyptian wedding once and there were over 550 people there. And I know with the Indian weddings, they have over, they have over a thousand people there. 
and it goes for days tradition this is their tradition so but i kind of think to me a traditional wedding is around 150 200 people max but that's that's my thinking this is where we work together within our wedding planning course so that you can actually see that i've got one idea and you've got another you tell me what you want what you think I don't tell you that's not the that's not my job my job is to to be led by you down your lane your aisle your lane stay in your lane it's not my lane it's how what you dream of another thing I thought of is indoor wedding I desperately definitely think it's an indoor church ceremony so I'm assuming St Paul's Cathedral which is a church in Melbourne or Think of where the royal family got married. They got married in very elaborate churches and you've got all those churches around the world and things like that. That's a traditional wedding. Or I could even see a traditional wedding being at Notre Dame in Paris because it's kind of a traditional place. Not necessarily a church, but to me that's quite traditional that people might say that that's where they want to want to get married so another thing I'm thinking of is it's very it's normally has kind of a set theme going through it like traditional re readings everybody all the bridesmaids are in long dresses and the guys are in tuxes and things like that and the flowers the flowers are normally quite simple designs still as complicated to make uh, but they just have a little bit of color with them mainly they're mainly white because it's more along the traditional line a lot of the traditional bouquets and things that i design are actually pink they have shades of pink in there i get really excited i had a wedding last year by the lovely renee and she wanted a traditional cascading bouquet but she wanted to have red tulips in it i was wrapped it wasn't pink and white but that comes back to the textile artist in me and see she took a traditional wedding and she added a bit of spunk red tulips hand painted red real touch red tulips they were amazing i thought that was so beautiful but i am very proud of any work i put together i'm so sorry because i have to be passionate because it's your wedding what put on the replay if you're watching this on the replay do us a favor tell me in the on the replay just go hashtag replay what you think is traditional educate me i could learn let me learn let me learn off you because you must be an amazing teacher because you have the vision and with that vision i get you to pull it out into the wedding that you want so that's a little bit but the whole thing about a traditional wedding is making a st statement something i was thinking to give a little bit of difference to make the spunk a little bit unusual instead of having the traditional five-tier cake and you know roses and flowers and things like that very much what the i had a very traditional wedding i got married at some in an amazing church catholic church in preston that had angels print on the roof and all sorts of things so but have you thought of instead of You've, got, you've gone down, you want the traditional and you want to walk down the aisle. See, we'll practice together. We walk down the aisle together and we arrive next to our partner. But when we get to the reception, we've got a really goofy cake. We've, we've put a bit of spunk into the wedding by creating a goofy cake. Or as you walk, as you walk in and you've got an archway and you and your partner are walking in, well, actually your husband or your wife, as you walk in to, and you have this amazing, I'm doing one in November, an amazing arch of artificial flowers. So I'm putting that completely together. In. Um, at the moment, the wedding, no, that wedding's just been postponed to May. March everything's been changed I have I'm just trying to keep up with dates at the moment I'm just going with the flow but you can still have traditional with a bit of spunk if you think of an Indian wedding and the reason I keep referring to an Indian wedding versus a Western wedding Indian weddings are full of so much color they have reds and oranges and yellows and they're the most vibrant thing and they are loud I do actually struggle a little bit with how long they go for 
when I do actually do the Indian wedding side because I'm when I put them together I have to build up a certain amount of energy because I'm used to I'm a Westerner I will admit I'm a Westerner come on look at my skin it's pretty pale it's pretty obvious and I've got pale skin this is the Welsh person in me I'm so sorry and but um, they have so much color and so much noise and so much celebration but that is a traditional wedding for them in their culture I'd say which culture it is I don't know I'm not up on I'm sorry I do apologize for not knowing the different religions within the Indian community so I do apologize for anybody out there but that is their tradition to me it's really got a bit of spunk it's color it's vibrant it's unusual but I love it it's you just as when I arrive into an Indian wedding because I'm coming from as a Westerner and I walk in and I'm normally dressed much differently to this I normally try and blend in a bit more with the Indian colors so that I look like I'm not the Westerner standing out on the side and when I walk in there to start off with I normally go oh and I have this thought this well and then of course the whole experience involved and it just it grabs me and brings me in and I feel like I'm one of their family there's millions of people there I don't look like one of their family but they just they just bring you in and you've got this love and this noise and this celebration and happiness and party okay at the moment we can't have these very large weddings but they are going to come back it's only a matter of time it's we're just we're just gonna wait a little while we're just having a little bit of a hiccup for 2020 that's what I call it I call it the COVID hiccup we have to be very very careful it is a very dangerous hiccup but soon we'll have it we'll be able to have what we want so we're just waiting what else did I think oh okay within the Indian community they have multiple dresses I think we could learn from this what happens if you've got your traditional white dress and you've got your hair back and you've got your very long tail train I should say not tail long train and it's coming out and it's down the back and then you walk into the wedding sorry my phone's having a hiccup let's hope I don't go flat we walk into the wedding and we get in there and we've walked in with it and everybody's celebrating Yay! things like that and then you sneak out the back and instead of having a traditional white dress on you go and be really radical for the party you put a red dress on or an orange dress or a blue dress wouldn't that be amazing that is a traditional wedding with a bit of what I call the barrel spunk it's so and this would be so themed to who you are some people don't like going down this aisle I always suggest this on my traditional people some of them can handle it some of them are going oh no 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 my wedding's going to be very very formal we're all going to sit down we're all going to, we're all going to do as we're told and I'm just going normally as we're planning the wedding as we're putting it together and as we talk and as they feed off other couples they kind of get involved and there's normally something in there that they go oh, this is my bit of spunk this is bit, my bit of Beryl's spunk but anyway I just thought I'd talk about traditional weddings can you drop in the chat please or if you're watching this on replay hashtag I love traditional weddings or I love rustic weddings or I love whatever wedding you want even better in the chat drop me drop me an image I'd love to see an image anyway this is Beryl from Forever Yours Flowers saying hey if you would like to join on my waitlist for my upcoming um, my new release on my um, wedding planning course or if you would like to work with me DM me I'm the person for you anyway this is Beryl saying hang in there stay safe oh, actually normally I say um, I don't know what I normally say I have forgotten my words I have been saying my ending for so long now that I've forgotten it but anyway, watch me on replay, 
and if you can like or love me i would love you i'm putting some videos up um, they're starting to go up now on my youtube channel um, i'll put in the notes below the link to my youtube channel and let's get your thoughts and feelings let's let's put them really high on the list because this is for you Anyway, this is Beryl. I've had a bit of fun with the traditional wedding and describing little traditional weddings. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say this is Throwback Thursday. Um, so we, we kind of threw back to the traditional side and then I spunked it up. Anyway, bye for now.